hello guys welcome to our channel profit chapter so today in this video i will introduce you to a python library that i have developed that will ease your algo trading journey you can comfortably use the kite api to implement your trading strategy so kite has already provided the apis so these are the list of apis and you need to go through each and every uh, details and using that you can implement your own strategy but looks like you have to do a lot of digging a lot of uh, analysis to do that so i have made a simple python library that you will you can directly call and implement so let's start with this so first of all we need to uh, in install this library in our local python project so we need to run this command pip install easy kite methods and after that you will be able to install this python library so the next step would be to add this .env file in your root of your project and it should contain kite api key and kite api secret okay so let me do that so i have already done this and yeah so next step would be to import this uh, in our python file so let's do this now the next step would be to buy and uh, suppose i need to buy an intraday order so currently time is around 9 10 so let's first check these things like uh, getting the stock price so let's do this okay so let's run this so we need to go here okay let's put this one So now I will print the stock price. So the currently stock price is three one nine zero. So let us verify it. So it's around three one nine zero. So let's try it for TCS. It's three nine eight three point seven. Okay, you can try anything like HDFC. One six two nine point nine five. One six two nine point nine five. so going to the next thing so we can also get the instrument token price so this will be helpful for extracting the historical data it is giving me the token price okay so okay so now let's calculate the stock price for fns so if you can see that this 
दिस दिस इज द एसएमएस बैंक निफ्टी 24 जुलाई So it's five six five to six one point seven five. Okay. So what would be the if the so this one is the instrument token value. Now zero two two four. Okay, this is same, and price is changing. You can see that. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So this thing is done. So suppose let's uh, buy some orders. So let's buy intraday normal order. Okay, this will be the order ID. And same we will uh, okay so let's come and zoom over this one. And I will print the order ID. Okay. Okay, let's see. this is the order id and if you go to the history so the order id is 24071060125157 and when okay so this is the order id now we need to sell this order id Price would be what is the current price going? Three one eight four. Let's see three one eight four. Okay, so order is sold. Let's see its info. And limit four four six three three. Okay, so we are able to buy and sell the intraday limit order. And so let's try these things order status average price and these things so suppose there is an order is placed you can find the status of the order its average price and the history of for this order so i've already used this order let's go and see so i have taken this order this is open state okay this is open state so this is open so let's try with another order this is complete so it is complete so if you want to know the average price as well so we will do Complete is the three one seven three. So uh, suppose uh, I need to know the order history. <coughs> So 
Let me get the list of all these items. Too. Uh, so let's try to cancel or exit orders. So I have already placed these two open orders. So we can cancel or exit the open orders. So let's go and take the order ID. And we can dot exit orders. So we'll wait for this one. So both are cancelled yeah so that's it for the exit and cancel orders so guys this was a basic overview of this kite easy kite method library so you can try from your end and if you are facing any issue you can add a comment in this video so that's it thank you and you have if you have liked this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you